In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a rear view mirror out of a full size GM. I think this is out of an 03, but I would expect these to be the same for uh, 03, 04, 05, 06, probably up to the body style change, I'm guessing, up to 2006 to 07. Um, so, this guy here, this these have a lot going on. We got the OnStar buttons. We have a light sensor in the back, which I assume automatically dims your high beams. Uh, we have a light sensor in the front, which I believe dims the mirror, so the uh, headlights from the back window aren't blinding you. And then we have a compass. And the problem we're having uh, with this one here is the compass display is cutting in and out. So let's get this thing open, and that is pretty much the hardest, hardest part of fixing one of these is just getting it open. And I can tell already that somebody has already been in here got some pry marks all the way around so um, let's see what we got to work with let's see if if this thing can be saved oh and uh, kind of get an idea here I have another uh, trim bezel you kind of kind of see where the clips are here where these slots are that's the clips we need to unclip and they're kind of all the way around Maybe I'm going to start here first. So this part right here, um, this connector can just slide off. Uh, this bottom one has already been broken. Um, but uh, I assume what this is here is basically an LCD screen with just one giant pixel that dims the whole thing when power is applied to these rails. We can set that off to the side. Uh, this two can go off to the side. Let's get the board out. And there's a connector right there. And we can pull this off too. All right. So let's get a closer look at the board. So anytime I have issues with a VFD or vacuum fluorescent display, usually I check out uh, the hot wire circuit. Now inside of here, this display you can't really see so much, but there's a a few fine wires running from one side to the other that are connected to these end leads. Uh, that's the, the hot wire section of the vacuum fluorescent display and those tend to cause the most issues just because of the constant current draw. And if we follow the trace, um, we are going right to these uh, dropper resistors here that lower the, the current that is passing through that wire. And I bet we'll find some fractured solder joints. I'm going to give it a little poke here with my tweezers. I suspect, I think I can see a crack. I'm going to get this up onto the microscope in just a minute. Uh, I just want to point out that I know some people will I've seen some videos where people see the, the flux here and say, ah, the board's all burnt up. No, this, this is just flux that hasn't been washed off, so this isn't a problem. It doesn't look pretty, but it's not an issue. I'll, I'll check over these solder joints under the microscope, and this, this resistor here, too, looks like the is worth investigating. Some of these larger ones in the sketch, too. Um, yeah, I think at this point, I'm going to... See if I can show you guys the fractured solder joint. Maybe what I'll do is, I think I'm seeing it here. I'm going to maybe uh, remelt this side and see if it falls right off. And it does, we'll get a nice close look up at uh, the potential issue with this guy.
So I did find some fractured solder joints on these 4.3 ohms, yeah, well, 4.3 ohm surface mounts, uh, which, uh, yeah, like I said, they lead up to the VFD display. And this guy here was also uh, needed a little touch up. I did reflow this connector, but uh, since these resistors here are in series, all it takes is one bad joint to kill the whole display. So I think we found our problem. I just I did go through and just kind of touch up a few suspecting looking uh, joints. But uh, now it's time for reassembly. And now to give it a test. All right, so that time it looks like it came on in, uh, in daytime mode. It's bright right now. Sometimes if it uh, doesn't see enough light, it'll start up in nighttime mode where it's on, but dim. But if you hit the back sensor with light after about 10, 12 seconds or so, it'll go into uh, daytime mode and get brighter again. And I was wrong about this back sensor. It's not needed for um, for the headlight dimming. It's just needed to know when to dim the mirror. And there it goes, it's full bright. So it looks like everything is working as it should. This wraps up this video. Thanks for watching.